G'day, it's me again, Phil. Remember me from the How to Measure video? Now, before you start installing, please watch this. Hello, my name's Abby and I am a DIY expert. Today I'm going to show you everything you need to do before installing your shutters from DIY blinds. Just so you know, you'll need around 20 to 30 minutes for this installation. And for large shutters, especially those which are off the ground, we recommend having a second person to help you. Firstly, you need to make sure that your window, floor and hands are all very clean. Then, scan the QR code on your product box. This will take you to the DIY Blinds website. Please make sure all the pieces in front of you match the list on that page. If they do, you're good to go. If not, contact us on 1300 918 390. Now get the following tools ready. You'll need a step ladder, a metal tape measure, a cordless drill with a Phillips head and three mil drill bit, a gap seal applicator gun, a spirit level, a pencil, and potentially a stud finder. Before drilling into any surface, there are a few things you need to work out. If you're drilling into wood, you should be fine to start. However, if you're drilling into plaster, you have two options. The first option involves using a stud finder to locate where the wall studs or battens are. The second option is to use Ramset 10mm hollow wall anchors, as these will help secure your shutters to the plaster. You can also fix into concrete, stone, brick or tile as long as you use a masonry drill with the appropriate plugs, anchors and screws. Once you're 100% clear, please continue. But if there's anything you're not sure about, give DIY Blinds a call before going any further. Hello again. Now, as I said before, I'm a guitar expert, but I'm definitely not a DIY expert which is why DIY Blinds have asked me to show you how quick and easy it is to install your shutters. So let's riff. First, lay out sections of your frame, your corner post and any T-posts in the right position. Click the sections of your shutter frame together for your left and right windows using the keys in your custom kit. And I'm not talking about major or minor keys, I'm talking about your Hoffman keys, which you need to attach to the sections of your shutter frame. Now it's time for some power cords with power drills. Place the left and right shutter frames onto your corner post. Drill your screws into the pre-drilled holes, attaching your frames onto the corner post at the top and bottom. If you have T-posts, screw them onto your shutter frame. For a face fit, drill holes through the back of your shutter frame in line with each hinge. For a recess fit, drill holes in the side behind each hinge. The back of your shutter frame will attach to your window frame. Now lift your frame into place. Drill each screw at the top part way in and wiggle the frame until it looks level. Now tighten the top screws, like you're fixing your favourite amp for the umpteenth time. Next, drill in your side screws followed by the bottom screws. Starting from the left, pick up your first panel and hold into position. The hinges should line up on your shutter frame and panel. Take a hinge pin and drop it through the hinge from the top, then repeat for each panel. Check that your panels open and close easily, because if they don't work, you might get the blues. Check for a thin, even gap between each side of your shutter frame and your shutter panels. Finally, grab the stickers in your custom kit and cover each screw. Now, here's my cover version of each screw. Oh, each screw I love you. Your beautiful shutters should now be working. And hey, so should I. But that's show business. If you've got a problem, call below. 
That's 1-300-918-390. one 390 yeah. 1-300-918-390, yeah.